Works have been ongoing at the St. Antonich ancient ceremonial site for a couple of years now, with archaeology students from abroad working along with staff of the Department of Archaeology. Just recently, attention was focused on this Mayan mound, and the team struck gold, historically speaking. We decided to focus on the southeastern end of the site, which is these two small temples to the, to the left, because we never really understood why they were placed there. Um, and so in the excavations this year and, and the, and the, and the um, conservation work, we located a two stele, one a large and carved stele that's broken, and then also a panel, uh, which is, is actually a panel, and we've labeled it panel number three, uh, because we have two other panels already here at the site. And the panel is fascinating because the panel has in it hieroglyphic uh, inscriptions. It has a, a, a set of four uh, 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 glyphs there, and those glyphs tell us a story. According to Morris, it is a story of Mayan royalty. On one side of the panel there is a date, and it's uh, second, of, second of December uh, uh, 638 A.D., um, and it commemorates the death of, of, a, of a woman, um, and her name is Lady Bats Ek, and she was literally the wife of the ruler of Karakol at that particular point in time, Lord Kantu, and Lord Kantu is famous for his military exploits. He, Karakol was at, at the time defeated a number of the other major sites in, 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 in the area, major um, cities like Tikal, Naranjo, uh, Ucanal, Caracol had defeated those sites. And they had done so because they were able to join forces with another big site called Kalakmul. Lady Batsek is actually from, Car from Kalakmul. So how did a panel from Caracol end up at St. Antonich? Morris says the story told on this panel has connected some vital historical dots. Somewhere down the line, Caracol was defeated by Naranjo and Ucanal, and they took the stairway panel that was at Caracol, took it to Naranjo, cut it up into pieces, and gave a part to San Antonio and a part to Ucanal. These are the sites that actually um, helped uh, uh, Naranjo uh, fight with Caracol. So even in antiquity, you have geopolitics. You have uh, cities aligning with each other to, um, to, to, to fight with each other and to conquer each other. And so this, is, this finally um, tells us uh, the remaining puzzle about why St. Antonich uh, in the late terminal classic, which would be six, uh, 700 to 900, why St. Antonich became such a powerful uh, uh, city in this area. The find is a significant one, not only the stella and panel, but also shards of pottery, obsidian and bones, which tell tales upon which these historians and archaeologists thrive. Excavation is expensive though, and really the department survives only through largesse and eager hands from abroad. We are a little department, but we do a lot of fundraising. We, um, we go abroad, we, we encourage a number of universities. In this particular case, we are working with the Northern Arizona University, where my good old esteemed friend, uh, Dr. Awe, teaches now, so he was able to generate some funds there. We work with the University of Texas of um, San Antonio, who also provided some funds. We uh, have a private donor from outside who has generously given us uh, $50,000 to carry out work here. Uh, Niche provides some funds. It's, it's, all, it's all a fundraising uh, a thing that we do. We apply to the National Science Foundation for funds, um, the U.S. Embassy. Uh, so we, 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 the government believes and, and don't, we don't have the money to do the work. We have to raise the money and we, we do that outside of the country. Well, you just have to look at Lamanai, Caracol, what's hap happening here in San Antonich and you will see that there's so much more to be unearthed, so much more to be excavated. The amount of work that has to be done is, is incredible. Uh, we don't have the kind of money to unearth every single Maya monk that, that we see, but you know, working in co collaboration with universities and, and with our people here, we're able to, to slowly do the kind of work that needs to be done in Belize in terms of our Maya sites. Today, there is excitement at St. Antonich. With a major find so early into the excavation, there is anticipation and hope that the mound will yield even more treasure closer to the center. Mike Rodon for News 5.